Hello everyone, Jeroz Korskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about Ackermann. I want to explain to you a little bit more about what is Ackermann and how you create more or less Ackermann. So in the next few minutes uh, I will show you on my 110 scale electric car uh, how to uh, change the Ackermann and uh, what, what is the effect on the track and uh, how much angle we, we talk, we are really talking about uh, how much angle the inside wheel and the outside wheel, what is the difference and uh, so come and have a look. Now looking at the car, um, I took my electric i14-2 Infinity car and um, as I will show you now, uh, the Ackerman effect and um, uh, you can see that uh, the inside wheel has more angle than the outside wheel. And that is called the Ackerman effect. But the Ackerman can be changed by using more or less shims on the Ackerman plate in the middle and uh, or the steering rack. And um, yeah, what, uh, what you will change. So now, for example, I um, set the maximum steering angle lock at 27 degrees. And so the inside wheel is 27 and the outside wheel is around 17 degrees. And um, if you want to change this, for example, you put more shims here, you will increase the angle of the outside wheel, which makes the car more aggressive when you turn in because it has more angle. So it will, it will use the tire more. But that also means that it has less Ackermann because Ackermann effect is the difference between the inside and the outside wheel, the more the difference is, the more Ackermann effect it has. So it has more Ackermann. So in general speaking, um, you will say if you add more shims, it actually has less Ackermann. So if you run without shims, so that means the steering link is almost straight. This outside tire turns less which has the effect of more Ackermann because the difference between the inside and the outside tire is more. So a lot of people uh, think it's the opposite. So you add more shims, you have more Ackermann, but actually it's the opposite. So again, if you increase the amount of shims, so you have the steering linkage in an angle, you will increase the outside wheel uh, how much um, angle it has. Uh, it makes the car more aggressive, has a little bit more steering, but you will also use more tire. So during your run, maybe you have a bit more drop. Um, yeah, so that is uh, my explanation about the Ackermann. Thank you again for watching my video. I hope this was helpful for you and I uh, hope to see you again soon.